Let's play two short matches versus the most powerful look you can ever see in the high tours of Tennis Clash, a sports game published by Wide Life Studios. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Gameplay365 and to turn on the bell if you like this video. Here's the lineup I was playing with. I was practicing the high serve big forehand style with Victoria in the Tour 7 when I was matched two times almost in a row versus the strongest look in the game, the one played by the excellent top player Schumacher. Let's see the cards, then the stats of the most powerful look in Tennis Clash when he plays with the low serve aggressive baseliner style, which is the playing style that he is made for in the game. So as you can see, Luke has all maxed out cards for this aggressive baseliner build. For this match, my total power was uh, 353, as you have seen on the lineup screen shown at the beginning of the video. The powerful Luke had 368, so 15 more total power points. All stats of this Luke are maxed thanks to 1113 cards. Let's take profit of this occasion to compare Victoria better to Luke. So Luke has a 92 agility at level 13, which is outstanding for an aggressive baseliner. That's three more agility points than Victoria if she had the same cards than Luke. A stamina of 42 which is two points fewer than Victoria if she had the same cards at level 13. A serve of 42 which is useless for this time but it's still having one more point than Victoria if she had the same castle, it's worth noting. The volley is useless, but just for your information, Luke has one fewer volley point than Victoria. If she had the same cards, she, he has the same forehand stat than Victoria. And finally, one more backhand point than Victoria if she had the same castle. So to make it short, that means that 1113 Luke has two more points for total power than 1113 Victoria. And that I would love to play the same build, the high serve, big forehand build than with Victoria, but using 1113 Luke because it would be a better character for this build. Let's watch the two matches. So, the player Schumacher has upgraded his low serve aggressive baseliner look to max levels only uh, recently because I was playing versus him some weeks ago and his look was very powerful of course but didn't have those best stats possible yet. Well, that's cool because I have now faced the two most powerful low serve aggressive baseliners in the game. I'm talking about the Victoria of Fly Jaimin and the look of Schumacher to top players having 3,800 trophies. So let's go back to the match where I was lucky in this first match as you have seen. My opponent was clearly leading in this one and could have won this first match easily. I was committing on Force Eros right at the start as usual and myself was weak so he was sending rockets uh, forehand and then uh, and backhands even when I was serving a bit stronger and then I committed another four zero again. He was leading 4-0 very quickly and it's only then that I started to react and I hit two uh, forehand winners. I served faster. I could hit a soft cross-court drop shot and that was another match at 4-4 and well, I was going to end this match, this first one, trying to take risk by hitting stronger shots towards the corners and that's going to pay off, but well, that was really tough. But that's normal, we were playing versus the most powerful look in the game. I was really lucky to get out of this first match alive. Well, let's see the second match now. In this one, I was lucky too because uh, Luke chose a Siberian wire string and you know that I like when the opponent chooses such a string having no stamina shield even if it counters my forehand because I have possibilities to make his stamina go down. And as you are going to see in this match, once again, he's going to lead quickly. Very nice. Yep, he is. Hitting really nice shots when he's on fire and on good form. There's nothing to do against his look. We had played several times in Tour 7. His look and my Victoria, and well, of course, now and then his look just crushes my Victoria. And now and then, well, I can be lucky. 
to get alive of our meetings. Liking a lot of matches where I play versus opponent uh, using this Sibran wire, where I stay patient and focus to come back, waiting for Luke to have his stamina bar at orange level after only two strokes, and then I could outflank him more easily. Well, overall, I think that was probably easier for me to fight back with Victoria versus this uh, powerful Luke than with another character like Kaito, for instance, where I, kn I know that you are going to say that I have already countered a lot of very powerful Victoria with Kaito's, but uh, since um, almost two weeks, well, <laughs> I am playing almost exclusively with Victoria or Leo or Luke. I think that with another character like Kaito, I would not have hit winners like with Victoria here, of course, and he would have suffered much more from the strong shots of Luke and would have returned weaker shots and would have been outflanked more easily. Well, I hope you enjoy watching my Victoria play versus the most powerful Luke in the Tour 7 of Tennis Clash, a sports game published by Wide Life Studios. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Gameplay365 to stay tuned for new videos of Tennis Clash. Thank you a lot for your support. And see you soon again, play 365. Bye-bye.